The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, the 9th of May. We're looking at the Dow up 100 points at 39,153. Very interesting. I was afraid to actually put in the upper Chapman wave technique that I use of price and time match in terms of number of bars to the downside to the number of bars to the upside because I thought, oh, that's just a little too high. That high that was made back on the 4th of April at 39,421. So I put it in down here. Look at this. And it says by tomorrow. No, no, that's a little too quick. Normally, I would stretch it out a little bit. But you never know because this is uh, this is really a catching on you know, a lot of buyers. So look at this. Um, and that he has a chap wave inside wedge target repellent line and it's just hit it every single day even today it's touching that line unbelievable um and what we're looking at is the magd look how it's expanded the histogram is still accelerating to the upside that's a big positive the nine bit moving average is way over the 14 that's a good sign the the relative strength index <clears throat> is rallying sharply uh oh let me have a sip of tea <clears throat> yeah, so the um, time period moving average, as I say, is sharply over the 14. The stochastic is at 95%. That is really good. And we've got the um, on balance volume a little bit overbought, which says, yeah, you could be having a bit of a pullback soon. We've had some consolidation intraday for two days, and then it just pushed higher. <clears throat> and that's helping the weekly chart. So that's really strong. Uh, Dow is up 0.25%. The S&P, which is lagging a little bit because of the semiconductors, I think, <clears throat> up 5.74 at 5193.74. Um, yeah, this is good. All it needs is to go a little higher, and then it'll go to leg D. And that's at, you know, the objective in Chapman Wave buy signal to buy mode upgrade says it should go to at least four higher peaks, and that would be 5200.23. So 0.24 stars leg D could do that today, helping that weekly chart. Oh, there's a Chapman wave falling X formation right there. There it is. Little breakout, good. Okay, what we're looking at then is the QQQ. <clears throat> now, it's, now it's finally getting some strength. It's down just 30 cents at 439.73. <clears throat> Chapman wave inside red, inside track. Repellent zone being tested right now. There it is. This is a narrow little channel that I have the green and pink trend lines right there. there it is. Got it. <clears throat> so this is very important. Why? Because you had a one-to-one -one from the low that was made. Did I type that in? No, I forgot to type it in. Um, in the QQQ of 413.02 on the 18th to the high that was made of 433.76 on the 29th, that one-to-one -one is exactly what we've seen. We've gone a little bit beyond that, and it takes you right to this inside track repellent zone. Resistance line becomes a, a propellant line once it goes above green. That's very close. So this is acting quite well right now. The IWM, the Russell 2000, <clears throat> trading up 66 at 2 or 4.44. The pullback yesterday was a little more than I wanted to see. If we got just a tiny pullback below the, the low of Tuesday, that meant that the, the green candle, it was actually a green candle even with that sharp pullback because it gapped down and then closed almost at the high of the day. <clears throat> now we're filling in the gap. In fact, let's just see what was the low on Tuesday. The low was 204.50, and the high today so far is 204.52. So we fill the gap. That's really important. That just says 
<clears throat> if things are, if the buying the dip mentality continues, <clears throat> what we're looking at, there's a good chance you'll you'll not be able to see this because that's today. So this left side, right side price time match that I did to the uh, to the high of uh, that high right there of the 23rd, I now have to move that over a little bit <clears throat> to a different candle. Let's go to this candle right here, and then I'll go green. Right there, yeah, and that's say, oh, it's got that's a little bit too wide. Um, I like to use the nine period move. Yeah, so let me just do this. Give me a second. Yeah, there we go. So I feel more comfortable with this saying that by. No, I'm gonna keep it there. That that says that by the. Sixteenth, the sixteenth of May is Thursday, a week from today. By a week from today. There should be a higher high to come in the 206.97 target that I have of early April. That will be in play. And that will certainly uh, one penny over the high of Tuesday of 206.15 stars, 206.16 starts a leg D. That's really important. And what's even, even more uh, um, significant is that for the first time, the iShares Russell 2000 ETF is actually participating even after the bit of a pullback yesterday, it's participating in this market rally. Now, the reason why this green line over here, I use that as a midpoint. I didn't want to add the number of bars to the right. It just distorts everything. But it goes a little further than that for the 211.88 <clears throat> major high of the 28th of March. I don't know about that. I'm going one step at a time, 206.97 to 207. Now I can even go to 208.55. That would be my target on this particular move if everything works out well. And uh, so the reason why we're fussing a little bit more about the IWM, it's always failed. Look, every time it's failed. This is the first time <clears throat> that that nine period moving average was really tested, was significant in the weekly chart, pull back to the downside, and it's still held beautifully green. That's my uh, indicator of last resort. And it's just holding well right now. And the stochastic's weak at 42%. The MACD's weak. The 9 period moving average is positive, And the on-balance volume is good. So you've got two out of four that I'm looking at of the indicators that are important that are good and two are not so good. So I'm looking at, oh, I should also mention that we are long from the beginning of, uh, from last week. And uh, I'm anticipating that for the first time, the Russell 2000 has a chance. I'm not saying it's going to do it. I'm just saying the way I'm looking at it technically, it's the first time that I feel there is a chance that the Russell 2000 finds some supporters. It hasn't found that for a long time, and that's really important. It just needs to find a contingent of, of fund managers that say, hey, I think it's time for the small caps to participate. Then we'll get something going. Let me go to gold. I did a whole thing. I did Tommy's show uh, earlier on. <clears throat> I did a whole thing on gold and silver. Our silver was acting way better than gold. But gold's coming back. It's up 19 and 2341. And I, I got a feeling that the whole thing in the Middle East, this gold and silver are telling us this is not, it's just not going away as a problem very quickly. All right, what we're looking at is um, silver is trading up. 76 cents, very strong move up. I'll be back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97, and with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, so I see in the den, uh, no, this is in the Tiger YouTube. Uh, Jeff says, build is a, uh, what is that? Uh, BLDR, big gap down. Humble this way, no, big gap down. This is a big gap up. This is up 5.74169, sitting on the look. How important is the 200 period moving average? <coughs> BLDR, Builders First Source Inc., building materials and manufacturing components, just a really important uh, stock in the, in the home building sector. Uh, let me open this up to show you something very interesting. So you see this nine period moving average since it broke out back in November. On the 3rd of November, with the general market, October the 27th was the low, but in this case, it was on uh, November the 1st. BLDR breaks from pink and goes green. No, 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 a couple of days later, it goes green, and it stays green all the way, even with the little dips. Goes to a peak D at 214.17 with a 309 round number low. And what does it do? It tumbles down to where? To the... Um, to the 200 period moving average on t on Tuesday it hits 160.33 on th Wednesday it goes to 159.01 a low and today it has 163.08 low yeah it didn't make a round number low and it's trading at 169.41 off the two. How important is it? Now, I want you to talk about that um, right now because as I saw it, I'm saying to myself, gosh, before I did my show, when I was wrapping up with Tommy, I, I wanted to say something about this, but it really wasn't the appropriate time because I was very short on time. And then at 10 o'clock, I completely forgot it because I was doing all the news and all that stuff. But what I wanted to say is in the Chapway methodology, there are times where that nine period moving average doesn't go pink, even though there's a very sharp pullback, and it means there's a continuation pattern going on. And this is what I wanted to show you in the 200 period, in the five minute chart with the 200 period moving average. Look at this. Look. So you've got your starting point right here. 
This is at uh, five, uh, about 5.30 this morning. He goes, five-minute E mini goes peak A, peak B, peak C1, C2. It stalls right at the 200-period moving average. And then it still remains green. So I decided that I would keep that notation and just go follow it up with a D and an E and an F if it, it did that. But look what happened. The pullback that you saw at nine, between nine, about 9.38 to going into the 10 o'clock hour, held the 200 p moving average, spiraled to the upside. So I've got a down arrow right here. And what I wanted to do was to say, you know, if I was trading, I didn't actually trade this. But if I was, I'd say, oh, my, that's, that's really bullish, going all the way down, hitting the 200 period moving average, then coming back up. That could be the start of a new move. But in fact, what I like to do is I like to go back and say, OK, if this was the down arrow, even though it was green, and this was the start of a brand new move right here, uh, right here, or even if that peak C1, C2 said that was peak A, B, C, D, what exactly is happening here? Well, I like what I'm seeing at this particular point. So I would consider that this would be a G slash C, meaning that it was still internal strength, and that if I had any a couple of positions, I would definitely take off something, but I'd hold because there's a chance that if the one-minute chart, this is the five-minute chart, if the one-minute chart starts to make a U-shaped pattern and go from pink back to green, you could have a reversal that takes you to the upside. And look at this. Talk about a one-click session, a two-click session. I didn't do this. I really thought about it, but I was so busy. that It was a day where I was looking at the gold and silver starting to move nicely, but silver particularly, so I was in, in for subscribers, I was looking in that area. So there were just a bunch of things going on. But this nine period moving average, remember the, the chart I showed you of Builder, the chart I showed you of the Dow, et cetera, where the nine period moving average crossed over, the, the indicator of last resort. Well, this is the one that finally turned positive right here at 6.30 this morning. And even those pullbacks didn't turn it pink. And now it's green. And that says there's a chance this is ABCD. This is an E. You could go, this could even turn out to be an alternate count. But look, that nine period moving average is telling, as I'm talking to you, saying how positive it is. Look how you've got this cup formation. So I keep getting asked, would you do an intraday like, like Larry does? Would you do one of these sessions live? Um, you know, I'd like to do it. There are two things that are just not quite in my wheelhouse right now and that is my for some reason when I used to about 10 years ago or so when I used to do those three day webinars just talking for nine hours a day non-stop and really I think it did a, a, a something to my throat so I, I can't keep that up for too long it just gets a little scratchy that's number one the other two is um, when I start the session because we're looking at charts that are absolutely fresh, unlike someone like Larry, who's already prepared, he's got his one-to-one uh, -one ratios. And I do that because I'm using a 200 period moving averages, benchmarks, but I want to follow live what's going on. So when I do it live, it means I don't actually know uh, quite what I'll be following. I know I'm always following the E-mini, but other things that I could do, for instance, I could go to gold right now, Look at that, 200 period moving. Look at that, gold. This is peak. Let me just do this. I'll go right from here, from the low that was made. Remember, you try to identify the lowest low. Well, from this low right here, look at gold. This is a peak A. There's your A. There's your, just by a fraction, B. There's your C. There's your D. There's your E. And there's your F. And that's where all the technicals reverse on balance volume, very sharp reverse. And what does it do? It plunges down to the 200 period moving average. So, so at this particular point, I could call this a brand new A. And then I need, because it's a continuation of the green line, the 9 period moving average, I have to call this G slash B. Only because I want to be ready for some kind of sudden turn down. 
but everything here is positive. This is the gold chart, but I could be doing that with any chart. Look at the silver chart. I have no idea what it's looking like. Oh, so let's just type it in. And that's kind of the way I would do the webinar because, and we could be following anything, but I personally am not going to be doing something where I'm trading everything. I have my specific things that I trade. Um, and I, I don't think it's fair in others to say, um, you know, I can do this and you can trade it because it's it's just something that we're trading from the chart. Well, that's fine, but I personally won't be doing it because I, uh, if I'm doing one thing, I can't do three or four things at the same time. So look, this is an A, that's a B, there's a C, there's a D, there's an E, and then what is this? And look at that, fantastic technicals. And that's what we'll be looking at. So I am still contemplating it. It's a lot of responsibility on my part, but I, I'm not afraid of responsibility. I'm just saying I need to contemplate to see if that's going to work. I'd love to. Do, I love it. It's one of my favorite things to do live shows. I'll be back in a moment. The Dow is trading up 162. Very nice. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully.
Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi folks, just I uh, am trying to do a tap wave repellent zone. There it is. Okay. So yeah, so build it up. VLDR is up uh, seven points, and that maybe is just an oversold condition. So it bounced off the 200 period moving. That's really what I wanted to show you. Now a couple of things that we're talking about right now is um, so I just wanted to check. I got that. I got that. I got that. And uh, there was a question about a particular stock that I was also interested in. Oh, EEM. This is the, there we go, EEM uh, trading at 42.30. This is the iShares Emerging Markets ETF. Finally got above that. Um, there I finally got above D, E. I'm calling this F for now. It might be an alternate count, but F for now. And there it is. So it's, oh, this is it. So this is good action. It's up two cents at 42.30. Daily chart has got a peak. Uh, that was a lower low. That's your low there. So that's an A. That's a B. And there's your C. Yeah, that's the same as the others. It should move higher. Uh, this is the first time. In quite a while that I can say, let me just undo that right there. This is the first time that I can actually can say that that 200 period moving average for the EM, which was look, looking like, ah, oh, whenever is it going to get there? Look at this. It came down. He has a weekly chart way back in April of 2022. <clears throat> right there. Look, up in the 45, 46 area. Tumbles down to the 33s, and then it goes uh, back to the 200. Remember, when you're seeing this kind of a, a test of the 200 period moving average, and the price is getting closer and closer, there's just a moment where it becomes a magnet, click, and it touches it. Once it touches it, unless it gets repelled very sharply, um, it should not just hit that 200 period. This time, it should start to move above it. And that could do about three to four sessions. And then you get the big test. Does it slide under it because it's used up all its energy in doing that magnificent work? Or what's going to happen? So EEM right now. Let's just do this for fun. Um, I was asked about the Nike. Nikkei. Not Nike. The uh, um, apparel company and sports company. But Nike. Nike 225 USD continuous contract man all time high non all time yeah I might have been you know I did this somewhere I've got the chart hand charted of the Nike Nikkei the Nikkei um, making an all time high back in 1990 it was like that long weekend of the of of um, New Year's Day going into the first I think that's when it was and uh, yeah so that's interesting. Um, I did not receive email. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, I am. Okay, thank you very much. I needed to ask some people if they would just email me. I am getting them. I appreciate that very much. So, yes, I'm not. Okay, so then that's settled. I'm getting my emails. Uh, just there were one or two people that normally email, and I didn't get it for a couple of weeks, but I am going to do this right now. So, the, the Nikkei has had a very nice bounce. So, the EM is the is a different index in the sense that it is, it's the emerging markets, right? A lot of, I think, African nations as well. That's a little different. So Nike and uh, Nikkei. The Nikkei 225 makes an all-time high. I believe it's an all-time high. I used to have the chart going all the way back, but Trade Station for some reason just, I don't know, it's, it's just data. I don't know why they get rid of it. Just keep it there. Anyway, I can't get it anymore. And I had it all notated and everything, but anyway, I don't have it. So uh, that high that was made just recently, now you're having a consolidation because that monthly chart is still very good. Weekly chart, nine period moving average, still strong. The daily chart is struggling a little bit. So I wanted to try to put it into perspective. This is a struggling chart here, the daily. Look at the EEM. That's not a struggling chart. Bounces off the 200 period moving average, higher highs, higher lows. Look at the weekly chart over the 200 period moving average, and yet look at the monthly. Look at that monthly. I have to just check something right now. Was that high uh, back in 2022? That was November. 
of 3968 followed by, yes, it did. Okay, so that's an A. Remember, this is your starting point right here. So that's an A right there, uppercase on the way up. But that's also an A because your starting point is down here, and that's a B. So this makes it now in leg C. So leg C, but a horrible chart in terms of taking all this time from the high that was made back in the 56 area, 57 area, back in 2021, February, all the way down to the, what did I say, 33s, and now it's at 42. It's just starting a move to the upside in the monthly chart. Weekly chart's pretty darn good. Okay, next question was, uh, where do I go, where do I go? Okay, let me do this. Apple, Apple rallying today, up 80 cents. Had 187 round number high about four days ago. Um, not bad action. It did fill in the. It did get into the gap after that huge move to the upside. Had 164 uh, low. 164.06 low on the 20th of April. But it also had 165 round number low close. Sorry, a round number close. And here it is at 183. I think it's doing. Yeah, I think it's doing quite nicely. Let me do the Chapman wave. Falling X. Right there. Right there. Move it up a little bit. There it is. Look, perfect. How do charts know to get so close, sometimes to within pennies of a trend line? I it just it's amazing. I, I have a theory, but it's only a theory. So he has a falling axe formation. If Apple, in the next week or so, you can't just touch it. It has to close over the 187 round number high. If it closes over that to give you your missing leg D, that'll be a leg B if it happens by, not this week, but by next week. Um, and that'll be a positive and get that 9 period moving average crossing positive for the first time. So where are we? Let's just do this real quickly. Um, the questions that I have, have I forgotten? Maybe I've written down. Did that, did that, did that. Did I finish Airbnb or was I just discussing that we've never rented? Oh, I have. Yeah, Airbnb, big gap down today. The 200 period moving average is 144.60. It's trading 148.68. Um, even more important um, is that the weekly chart has gone to peak F. With a double top at 170.10, it had a Chapman Wave two bar reversal at the top, and then 170 round number high the week of the 28th of March. Unbelievable how this has happened so many times. And there it is. I want to see what Nvidia is doing. Uh, Nvidia is trading down 16, had a round number high and a round number low. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, 
giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, so now we've got that leg in the five-minute chart. Remember I said I've got a bit of GCSC. Everything's positive here <clears throat> and that you just have to ride the wave, which is this nine-period moving average and a slow little peak D in the one-minute chart. Um, yeah, this is this is really good action, up 14.50 now in the futures. Now, after this big whatever it is, surge, we might have a little bit of a breather. We'll see what happens over the next uh, uh, 15 20 minutes more importantly i want you to show you this so nvidia has a 974.00 another chap wave technique that i developed years ago um <clears throat> decades ago actually 19 i re was already using it in the 1980 uh, 1987 crash so 974.00 round number high on the 8th of march and what does it do it comes down to 756, that's 200 points. I mean, that's 20 something percent. That's a big deal. So, and it has a round number 762 um, close on that day, and it runs up to it runs up to what? It runs up to a peak D, and now it's pulling back a little bit. I think that Nvidia and the other semiconductors are under pressure right now, and that's just that's another reason why I'm saying. I'm waiting for this, the chap wave methodology saying that the buy signal upgraded to buy mode so that all the key indices need to go to at least a D. Um, it's going to be important, a D or E, but it means that sometime next week, and for the Dow, it would be the earliest, would be you make a high on, the, well, let's just do this right now because it's already changed. So let's just go to that right now. You've got... The Dow is still in leg B. This is still leg B. So let's just say that there's a turn down tomorrow and there's no new, new, new higher high than today. It's a lower high. That'll make peak B. Let's just say on Monday it pushes higher and it makes a leg C. Let's just say on Tuesday it pulls back and makes a peak C. Wednesday it makes a leg D. This is the absolute soonest you can do this. And that means... Thursday, you get your a week from today is the first time that you can actually get a peak D. So I'm still bullish into next week, just based on that methodology. It could change, but that's there's nothing to. Oh, all I can do is follow the methodology. <clears throat> Even more important is that this cup formation where you got the dreaded H successful because it didn't go to the 37,053 low was a higher low. And now you're rallying sharply, especially above that peak A that was there. So that just says you could go to a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. We've already done that. So where do I go to? The next level of resistance is on the 4th of April, the high in the Dow of 39.421. The S&P has just started leg D. Wow. All, one, one bar of rest, and now you're in leg D. That's very positive. So here's your leg D. Where would my next target on the upside be? Right 
right here. That is, so the high today is 5204.75, 50, 52.04.75, 52.11. Okay, so it's that, that high that was made on the 11th of April is 52.11.78. And then after that is 11... After that is 5217.03. So that means key support is just under yesterday's low. And that says key support, even after leg D. After D, other things can happen. But 50, 5191.95, I'd say 5188 is probably the level that you've got to monitor if there's a sudden pullback. But look how you broke out of the Chapman Wave falling axe formation right here in the weekly chart. That's very positive. And that just says... Very often you go to the next left side peak. Well, that happens to be the high that was made at 52.63.95. That's 63 points. It's about another 700 Dow points. I just don't know if this is the move that's going to do it. Meantime, this is very positive. So question came in about the XLU. Mm. Uh, yes, XLU is a huge leg C to the upside. Uh, it's up 59 cents at 0.84%. At 70.85 today. Look at that. And it's a leg C in the weekly chart. And it's a leg B in the monthly chart. This is, you know, very often when yields come down, money goes into utilities because you're getting a dividend and you've got the uh, you've got the core, which is, it's almost like a, like a dividend when you're looking at, say, ExxonMobil or Chevron, where you've got potential for capital gain, plus you've got the dividend. That's kind of what you're looking at here in the XLU. Very nice move to the upside. Look at the uh, monthly chart and a bigger time frame. <clears throat> so this pullback here, which is a little bit more than a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside, is seeing those left side highs tackled in the monthly chart. And that just says that the next big move to the upside has the 73 something, 73, 79 high of December of uh, 2022 as a potential target. And it says that now for the first time in a long time, in almost a year, the nine period moving average in the monthly chart has crossed positive but it's the end of the month. We have to wait all the way to the last day of the month, which is the 31st on Friday. Oh, I love when the month closes on the Friday. It just gives you nice chart patterns for the week and the month. All right, so that's the XLU. Very, very positive. I'm going to answer a question here that came in. I looked at, uh, you looked at my, Micron the other day. What's it doing now? Micron is, has made a peak D. It's done the one-to-one -one that we were looking at. It's gone above the Chapman Wave inside track resistance area. Now it's a propellant zone. The nine-period moving average is positive. It's holding okay, but I can't say that I see strength just yet. Now there's a little mini pattern that I look at, and it has to work. It has to work almost either immediately or it just goes on and on and on. And that is this tiny little narrow channel to the downside. And what happens is it does it a few days and then it just breaks to the upside and it breaks and usually closes above the left side high, in this case, 121.41. But there's a chance that it also is setting in place um, well, the stochastic's at 79.29. It's almost 80%. That that means it's going to be difficult to do. No, I'm looking at this and it says upside might be limited, but it's still certainly strong enough to have a little bit further of a gain. It's down 28 cents. MU is a symbol, 119.04 micron technologies. Peak C, if there's no new high in the monthly chart above that 130-ish area <clears throat> uh, in May, that makes it a peak C. And then it says it should still go to a D. There we go. Uh, Microsoft. Nice move up, up a dollar twenty. No, it's not a nice move up. It's just hanging in there. Up a dollar twenty-three at four eleven point seventy-five. We oh, we do own it. I almost had it as a as a very short-term trade, just as a, a trading position. 
And then I thought, no, it's just, um, I, I, I don't see it having that kind of a pop to the upside in percentage terms. So we're trying for a low price one to do the same thing. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Tiger Nation's Hour. Dow is up. You've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tiger's Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So I had a question, uh, I a question just a statement or show in the, in the Tiger YouTube about APP, which is a Ploven Corporation spectacular stock, making this beautiful U-shaped pattern in the weekly, in the monthly chart, <clears throat> Previous high was back at about 118, drops to nine. Now it's at nine, uh, 896. No, it's at 86. I've got this weekly chart very strong. It was an instant restart. This is an F slash B at this point in the weekly chart. P a leg C in the in the weekly chart, daily chart. It should try for the uh, <clears throat> could pull back, but I'm thinking 89 to 92 would be the area that I'm looking at. Stocks that get to 95 invariably go to 105. So looking out, this is very positive. Good. So <coughs> with that said, as we're wrapping up for the day, um, I'm just going to say Dow's holding very well. It's up 196. This is really good action. Love the action. Stochastic's at 95%. Unless some bad news creeps in, this is trying to get to the 39.300s. Uh, this is the last high on the left side. That was the target that we had right there, 39,000. No, that can't be right. Where are we? Yeah, 39,343. It's 
Australia in the next couple of days. And it's only in leg B. That's very positive. S&P. So if the Dow holds uh, above, I would say if it holds above 90 after 2 o'clock this afternoon, should be a good close. Meantime, the S&P has got that leg D. The Dow's only in leg B, holding very well. We want to see the IWM become not necessarily a leader, although it's up 0.56% today so far. It's really starting to show leadership in percentage terms. I want to see it at 204.97 right now by Friday or Monday in the 207s. That'll be really good action market-wise. That's what we're talking about. And gold sack, beautifully. Silver's even better. See you. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, stay tuned for Steve Rhodes. And I'll be back. <laughs>